green male. So this little guy did extremely well. He came right out of the, the enclosed area without uh, hesitation, which shows a nice uh, level of confidence. Um, he's quite happy. His tail's wagging. He's licking me, checking me out. So that was very, very good. Uh, this is the first time he's been in this room and the first time he's met me. It's the first time he's been away from his litter mates. And he's just uh, lovely. How are you? So I'm going to give him uh, some affection. Oh, nice kisses. Nice kisses. So he knows that I'm a good thing. But we're going to let him decide whether he's more social or more environmentally focused. So I'm going to go a little quiet for a little bit to see if he stays with me or leaves on his own accord. Your legs are, no. His tail is nice and waggy and soft. Very good. Very good. So he's curious enough to leave and uh, look, but he was really quick to come back. In the test, I'd have to say that he's more social. A lot of puppies uh, don't even come and see me. They just start circling the room, checking out your environment. Uh, this little fellow is showing me that he's quite happy to stay with me. <laughs> Aren't you? Do you want to get up and do something? So yeah, very good. Very social, aren't you? Aren't you? So he's, he's not caring really about what's around. It might change as he gets more comfortable and we walk around, but uh, I'd have to say that he's more social. So this part of the test is uh, a checking in. So basically I want to see if he will kind of follow me around. Good boy. And uh, it's kind of, it can be the start of your come exercise. Puppy come. Puppy come. Very good. Very good. So you don't want him stuck to you like glue. You want him very good. Very good. So he's not uh, controlling my feet or really stuck to me, but he is uh, aware of where I am. He is giving me the opportunity to call him. Yes. And look how happy he comes. So just praise him a lot for coming. Let him know that it's a great place to be. Very good. So this is a lovely uh, mix. He's quite happy to look at something and then come to me. Very good, very good. So you can start this in your basement or your house and then uh, gradually increase the space and then maybe take it outside where there's more distractions. So now he's getting more comfortable, but he's still coming back. So he did a super, super job on that. So you can just keep building on that, that's perfect. Is that perfect? Come here, let's see what you do now. 
So this part of the test, I just want to see how patient he is. I mean, he doesn't know me. He doesn't know why I'm doing this. Um, he's quite still. He is looking around. <laughs> he's wanting to give me kisses. So there is a little body movement there. So you can uh, increase his patience by holding him like on a daily basis, increasing the time held, giving him a treat be you know, before he starts to wiggle. He has a lot of vets and grooming and like all dogs, and they have to have a certain level of patience. So it wasn't bad, but you couldn't you could uh, build on that. You have a beautiful colored face. Yes. So we tried to see what they do with strange things that they haven't seen before. So very curious, not uh, shy of the paper. I threw it over there and you didn't see me. <laughs> huh? So, <coughs> yes, go get that. So, I would keep encouraging this kind of play. He, which is quite indicative of a social dog, he would rather just stay with me than, than go after it. So, he's getting a little excited with a little use of teeth here. So we don't address it during the assessment. <laughs> yep, would you rather be with me? So there are exercises in your training kit? Yes. So he just has to kind of figure it out. Very good, puppy boy. Puppy, very good. Very good. Can I have it? So, I'm not going to pull it out of his mouth because you don't want him to gobble things down. If you pull things and then later on you want him to drop it, um, he will gobble it down fast. So you want to teach him, look, puppy drop. Puppy, look, puppy drop. Look. So give him a treat. And then take it. But teach him to drop or leave it. Uh, don't encourage him to gobble stuff down. He will only end up with stomach trouble. <laughs> so just keep playing that kind of game. It's really good for their mind and everything. Physical exercise, stuff you can do together. And how patient is that? <laughs> so this part of the test is the treat test. So we want to see how uh, stimulated he will be with a high quality treat. So we have given him the treat. So we do know that he likes it. So this time I'm going to put it under a cup. Look. And see if he can... So you can see that he got distracted by the cup. Such a play thing, but we're going to try that again. So he either is uh, too stimulated, which you wouldn't use the <laughs> high quality treat right at the beginning. Go uh, use kibble or something. Thank you. So he either didn't really like the treat enough or he just likes the cup better. <laughs> Now you want the treat. Huh? Now you want the treat. So he didn't really have the wherewithal to concentrate and, and get that uh, treat. From, you can keep playing and practicing at home. So now we're going to see his reaction to a raping. Hmm? Did you do that? Did you do that? Huh? 
Now you're getting excited. Hmm? Now you're getting excited. He's quite a playful little guy. He will. Uh, he wants to be with you, so that which is great. He wants to do like what's next? What's next? Okay, get this open. Where are you off? To? So now he's getting a little bit more comfortable. See what you do with this. Hmm? Here, look. Let's see. So that was a fairly big noise. You can see his tail is still up and over his back. He came in my direction. There he's checking out where it came from. But he did really well. He's pretty well recovered on his own. He's off to look at, around. What do you think? So there's a little cries there. So I'm going to just get him moving forward and playing. So if you don't coddle your dog if they are upset. He needs to learn to overcome things. never learned to sort of overcome any kind of stress by himself. Very good. What do you think this one? Hey? <laughs> he is sticking with me, but he has pretty well through the whole task. Puppy, look. What's over here? Puppy, this way. Yeah, what's this? Very curious, very interactive. He wants to play with it. So he's definitely not uh, shy of the movement. <laughs> very, very good. So just to increase his world, you're just going to keep introducing new sounds and sights and noises just to build on his uh, world there. <laughs> so the last... Uh, Aspect is just a, a base prey drive. So he was connected from the very beginning. He did pounce like really quick, but his first action is to take it away from me. So he has a fairly good prey drive. Oh, now you're bringing it back. What do you think that is? He hasn't let go of it. He's quite proud of it. What did you catch? Hasn't been a really strong kill shake. But it is a medium to high prey drive. So you're going to use your exercises in your happy puppy kit. Like watch me and leave it. Drop it. Uh, just to uh, redirect his focus back on you, because in the real world there are cats and kids and bikes and things, uh, so you just want to work with him. Very good. Overall, super uh, happy little guy. Very handsome. Did really good. Hope you enjoy. Good boy. You want to play with it? You play with it.